assalamu alaikum students this is the lecture for the class 5th students we were discussing about communication how to communicate as we already earlier lecture we discussed what is communication communication means exchange of information communication means exchange of ideas communication means interaction with each other through different means through different sources communication relates us each other communication connects us each other communication because of source of communication we are connected to the world through different means so today we will see about the different source of communication so let's begin the topic so first one is postal services postal services are those services <clears throat> where we write a letter to whom we have to send then we post that letter into a letter box and then the postmaster came he or she collects the uh, letters in that post box and through this postal service the letters are received by different persons whom we have to send those letters this is called a postal service that means let postal service are those service where we write a letter to our relative to our friend to our colleagues to different people at different places so we can say sometimes it is written on a separate paper put in an envelope and sent the letter the postal service in the postal service we write a letter and put that letter into an envelope and then write address uh, on the back side of that envelope to whom we are going to send that letter that means this is also a way of communication we write the message or we write the information we write our ideas even any information any idea any uh, communication any thing we write on that paper and put that in the envelope and then the letter is received by the receiver so this is a postal service like you can see to whom the letter is to be sent his or her name and address has to be written on the envelope you can see this picture this is a picture of envelope here we write the address like to mr and mrs dash 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 uh, their address and then it is taken by the of this postal service to different uh, places when we put these uh, letters into the post of post box then the postmaster come and collects all these letters and put the or even these letters are collected and taken to the post office and from the post office these letters are distributed to different places through different sources and those letters are received by the respected receivers the another source of communication is telegram we are able to send important messages and good wishes immediately through telegram so first one was the postal service where we wrote the letters to our friends to our relatives and those letters are taken to the post office and from post office they are distributed to different places to different people then comes the another thing that is telegram this is also a way of communication through telegram we can send important messages and good wishes to our friends to our relatives etc through telegram the message sent should be very short that means in letters are very long or can be short but through telegram the message should be very short and also these telegrams it can be received in a very short period of time as compared to letters the telegram is received by the receiver in a very short span of time then the third source of communication or the means of communication is telephone 
people use the telephone to contact a person whether he is far or near as we have already discussed that the communication has also been gone under revolution that means changes have come first letters were sent telegrams were sent but the telephone has make made this communication very easy through telephone we can contact our person or friends or relatives in a way in very less time in seconds we can connect to our friends to our relatives to our colleagues to different people at different place through telephone people use the telephone to contact a person whether he is far or near that means through telephone the people can contact whether that other person is far that is very much in distance or near or that person is very near to him or her the another source of communication is mobile phone because telephones are available at telephone booths or in our homes also but this mobile phone we can carry it to any place to anywhere so through telephones or through mobile phones we can speak to anyone or from anywhere the another thing is telefax apart from the telephone and the mobile phone we can now send matter picture photos etc that means through phone we can only send messages or things we can co- communicate through phone also we can communicate through telephone also but this telefax is that thing through which we can also send matter that means sometimes a letter or anything which is important documents pictures photos etc these are sent through telefax so that means this is also a source of communication if we want to send some a letter or document or any picture or any photo photograph we can send them through telefax this postal service telephone mobile phones these we can individually use postal service telephone and mobile phone as a means of communication postal service as i already told you through we can send letters telephone we can communicate through telephone mobile phone we can communicate through mobile phone these can be individually done or at individual level also this was this postal service this telephone mobile phone telefax these are at individual level that means we can contact or we can communicate to one person at a time through telephone through mobile phone or can send letter to one individual but if we have to communicate to the people at large in society then the following means of communication can be used if we have to communicate to many people at a time then these means are used for source of communication or used like tv radio and newspaper so important incidents happenings in the world country or village can be read through the newspaper so newspaper is also a source of communication because it gives us really good information about the world about the cricket about the cinema about the marriages about different aspects are written in the uh, about the government about our society different things are written in the newspaper so newspaper is a very good source of information in today's world another thing is radio this is also a source of information news and important messages are broadcast through a radio as for example at 7 pm the shahar bin is telecast in the radio the in the shahar bin different news are brought to the people but through radio we can also only hear these news we cannot talk back to the radio channel no not at all but only we can hear news and important messages through radio so this is also a good source of communication 
then comes an important thing important source or important means of communication that is television important messages and news are telecast on television in the television we can see news we can see movies we can see um, the cricket news different news are telecast at different channels it is because of the means of television because of the means of communication called a television television is an important source of information important source of communication because through television the news the different um, messages are communicated through television but as we know that whether it is um, uh, postal service telegram uh, phones mobile phones telephones te uh, this um, radio newspaper television all are the means of uh, means or source of communication but also the emails electronic mails are sent within the seconds different messages are sent throughout the world in seconds by email so email electronic mail is also a source of communication so we can say in nutshell all in all these were the different source of communication so students we communicate to each other through these uh, sources but in today's world the mobile phones emails newspapers televisions are very important means of living also because they make us up to date they make us informative they make us aware what things are going in the world and we can communicate to each other through mobile phones through sending emails through messages different sources are there so these have became these have an important place in our lives they have eaten or they have make our made our life very easier at very ease so we should use them in a good way so that we can be very informative or we can communicate to each other through different source of communication thank you so much